from the moment her infant enters the world. Then it's all about security all the time. From baby monitors and safe pacifiers to strollers and car seats, parents want the most reliable items possible to keep their babies out of danger. It's the beginning of a long list of safety items that will be needed in the not-so-distant future. Of course, training wheels and parental safety apps are worries that are still years away for an infant's parents. There are more immediate concerns in the meantime. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In this story, one couple has worked hard to ensure the safety of their child at night, only to be stumped at how she continues to outwit their efforts. Little do they know their baby girl has some help for a young baby or toddler's health and well-being. A secure, safe crib is a must. That crib is also what parents need to get a good night's sleep, knowing their child is out of harm's way. Chris and Nina, Cardinal of Phoenix, Arizona, are just those kinds of parents. Their 15-month-old daughter, Chloe, had her own bed with safety guards. Every night, the Cardinals would put their daughter to bed, close the door to her room, and head to bed for some restful. Shut eye, then everything changed. Early one morning, Nina woke up and headed out to the kitchen to get coffee and breakfast. She was shocked to find Chloe wandering around the family room, playing with her toys under the watchful eye of the family's two golden retrievers, Blue and Colby. I came out from my bedroom to find her wandering the hallway, which was a little bit shocking. Nina said, like, what are you doing out here? Chris and Nina walked into their daughter's room and walked around the perimeter. They checked Chloe's bed, including the safety guard, but everything appeared to be in working order. They could not understand how Chloe got out the door because she wasn't tall enough to reach the doorknob. We were shocked. How was she able to get out of bed? Chris said. This is the first time she's ever made an escape like this. Did she grow? They tried to think of ways Chloe could have escaped. Perhaps they didn't close the door fully after they had settled Chloe into her bed the night before. Confused, but thinking it was a one-time incident, the parents let it go for the time being and focused on a fun day with their child. The Cardinals made sure they turned up the baby monitor in their room to hear any movement in Chloe's room. That night, however, they were awakened even earlier the next morning by sounds on the monitor. Around midnight, the couple came out of their bedroom to see Chloe again, roaming around the house having a grand old time. How did she get out of her room? Yet again, they sat Chloe down and asked her how she was getting out of her bedroom. But Chloe only giggled and refused to say anything more. Despite the Cardinal's best efforts, their daughter kept getting out of her room on a nightly basis. Every night, Chloe would wake her parents up by escaping from her room and wandering around the house singing and playing with her toys. For two dogs following faithfully behind her, the Cardinals were almost at their wit's end. What was happening? How was Chloe getting out of her room? Every night, the couple began to lose more and more sleep themselves, worried about what Chloe could get into around the house. During her midnight excursions, Nina was so concerned, she even considered bringing in an air mattress to sleep on the floor of Chloe's bedroom. But then, a different possibility presented itself. Finally, Chris and Nina decided to purchase a baby cam to place in Chloe's bedroom to record what was going on to aid her in her nighttime adventures. They figured that if anything could show them how their daughter was foiling their every move, it was a camera. So they carefully set it up on top of the dresser in Chloe's room, facing their daughter's bed. Once again, they were awakened in the early morning by a 15-month-old parading around the house, tossing toys everywhere. Exhausted, the parents went to the baby came to see what had happened. The result was not at all what they expected. The couple watched the recording in fascination and amazement. Around 6 a.m., the door to Chloe's room burst open, and two incredibly excited furry bodies swarmed into the room to wake up their little friend. It was the family dogs, Cove and Blue. The two golden retrievers apparently didn't feel like waiting to start their day of following their new best friend and little sister and food-dropping toddler around, so the dogs actually pushed the door open and went over to Chloe, waking her up by licking her face repeatedly in the video. The dogs raced back out of the door, only to return moments later because baby Chloe isn't moving fast enough for them. This time, a still sleepy Chloe is standing up in bed when she is again greeted by lots of puppy kisses on her face. 
Now fully awake, Chloe eagerly follows her partners in crime out of her bedroom and out into the hallway. Finally, Nina and Chris had an explanation for Chloe's escape artistry. She had helped all along. You can do your very best to keep your child safe and protected, as the Cardinals did with Chloe. That doesn't mean that your child won't outsmart you anyway, especially if she has a doggy tag team who will help her break all of the rules to have fun with their best friend. At least Chloe was in good pause when she was out and about on her nightly escapades. In this story, we learn that you can only go so far to keep your child safe. After that, you need to hope that she has chosen and the friends who are around her well and that they will have her back no matter when they come.